everyone, and today I want to show you a fun trick that's really easy to check that you are sewing with an accurate quarter inch seam. We'll then apply that into a block made with a partial seam. The really fun trick, a note card. Make sure that the note card that you're using has lines that are a quarter of an inch apart. I'm gonna set my ruler down to just double check. Perfect. Take your note card and place it under your foot. I am using a quarter inch foot today with some piecing thread. What I want to do is I want to line up the edge of the foot with one of my lines and start sewing. And I'm going to see where my stitches end up. If you have speed control on your machine, get it a little bit slower. Thro sewing through paper isn't quite like sewing through fabric, and so the slower speed can really help you. Well, that looks pretty dang great. But what if you wanna sew with a scant quarter inch seam? A scant quarter inch seam takes into allowance the fabric that when you're pressing it back, as well as the bulk of your thread, making your quarter inch seam that much more precise. What you're gonna to want to do is again, line up the edge of your foot with one of the lines on your note card. Here though, I'm going to move my needle position a little bit and just see if I can get it a scant quarter of an inch. I'm aiming for my line of stitching to be right next to the line on my note card, not on it. I'm gonna move it maybe to 8.7. It's closer, but not quite where I want it. Let's try one more time. I'm going to go to 8.9. Veered off course a little bit at the end. So let's just look at the beginning. We have our line on our note card and to the right of it, my line of stitching, giving us that perfect scant quarter of an inch seam. Let's apply that to our partial seam block. I have here a three and a half inch square and four three and a half by six and a half inch rectangles. What we wanna do for our partial seam is the first seam we're going to do, we're gonna line up our square with our rectangle, our first rectangle, and we're gonna stitch halfway, partially through the entire seam. I'm going to stop and clip my thread. Allowing this to stay open is going to let me sew that final piece when we're making this block. We're gonna sew all the way around. So I'm gonna give it a light finger press just to make sure that the next piece of fabric lines up really nicely. For this piece, I'm going to sew all the way through from one end to the other using that scant quarter inch seam that we just perfected. I'm gonna wait to reposition my fabric a little bit. find a pause in the middle of sewing a seam if you want to reposition to make sure that you're keeping everything lined up well. And to another finger press, put my next piece on. Sew the next piece on as well. Now you can see because I left this open, it was able to go all the way to the end on this piece of fabric. Now I'm able to finish off that final seam to make our perfect partial seam block. 